Well hello to you Second Life, it's Kitty O'Toole here. Um, not done a video for ages and this is going to be a very quick one. Reason for my doing it is to show you my my little witch room that I've got in World um, and also to share a few things that I've got in it um, that are coming up for sale at events in the very near future because it's October and everything witchy is just basically a foot in Second Life now. Second Life does do Halloween and this time of year brilliantly. So let me share with you a few amazing things. Now, a lot of the things I've got in this room I've collected over the past few months. Um, there's a lot of items from gachas or from my favourite stores, which tend to be places like um, Candle and Cauldron, of course, um, Hextraordinary, um, and spellbound I tend to go to places that have built really good quality witchy items there's a lot of stuff around out there not all of it's good um, so I'm a bit I'm a bit fussy about it but yeah so this is my little witch room um, I've always wanted kind of a, a little space that's witchy in Second Life to share with kind of witch friends um, but here's the sad part, I don't actually have any. Um, it's kind of been my ambition to set up a place for pagan like-minded folk to meet in Second Life, but it's finding the time to do it and it wouldn't be a virtual coven or anything like that. It would probably be just a book club or somewhere where we could sit on sofas and chat. Anyway, that's not the point of this video, that's for another time. This is to just share with you a few bits that um, are coming up at events that are made by Candle and Cauldron. Now, I have to show you this. Um, excuse my space navigator, it's very jerky at the moment. This clock is a sensation. First, start look at the textures on it and the fact that you've got bats on the cords underneath and it's a pumpkin. This moon face is accurate. Um, I know that um, the makers behind Candle and Cauldron have worked really hard with their scripting and um, yeah, it's it's accurate to the moon face and it is accurate to the moon face because if I look over at my calendar I can see that in three days time we've got a full moon um, and yeah, look, it's working its way towards a full moon. It's beautiful. So that's one of the items I wanted to show you. Um, Incidentally, if you ever spot anything in this video that you're interested in and I didn't mention, give me a ping and I will tell you where I got it from. There's a Witches Inn sign, which I absolutely adore. Um, this obviously switches on when um, when you come online, I guess. Um, and over here is Broom Parking, which is just so beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's just so simple, but it's just it just works and I love the way it says brooms oh excuse me brooms only no mops or vacuums I like I said apologies I've got a very sticky space navigator at the moment um while we're all things candle and cauldron look at this this is another candle and cauldron Lu oh stop it lunar phase clock but this one's got witches flying around it I featured that one on the blog, so if you want details about that, it's on kittywitching.com. Incidentally, these are also from Candle and Cauldron. I love these, these crystals on pillows. That's a selenite tower, and that's lapis lazuli on a cushion. And, oh, God, it's just the detail and everything that makes me so happy about these. These posters, they're also Candle and Cauldron, yeah. Basically, too long didn't read, you need to go to Candle and Cauldron. So, what else have I got that I can share with you? So many things in this little witchy room. Anything witchy that I collect and and find that I can put in here, you know, gachas, um, that kind of thing. I just I just put in just to make my room look look more witchy and and happy. And I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Um, these little bits over here, ooh, see it's doing it again, it's sticking, sorry guys. These little bits over here, um, these are extraordinary. Um, that's a rune set and that's a tarot set. So you can draw 
cards and runes and they're accurate as well it's stunning stunning the stuff that you can do in second life um these stacked cauldrons are also from candle and cauldron and they just add a nice little touch i think to the corner of the room then if we go over to here you will see that i've got ooh, sorry i'm going all spooky i've got some cushions these are from paper moon i think are these from paper moon oh oubliette these are from and they're a bit special when they res all of a sudden everything doesn't want to res anymore i've got a story of my life this wall hangings from candle and cauldron if you look it's cats and trees um so are these so are my curtains so is my ghost smudge yourself like i said yeah pretty much everything in this room's from candle and cauldron oh there's bits and bobs that aren't and over here's an altar that um, i sit at and do it's it's just a nice place for me to come in world that's witchy um this broom is also from candle and cauldron as are these marker points it's just i don't know i love it the sky box as well guess what that's also from candle and cauldron <laughs> it's just turning into a massive candle and cauldron ad and rightly so i think it's lovely and it's home and it's homely and it's cozy and look i've got space on my sofa for people to come and sit and talk witchy stuff with me so if you're interested please get in touch with me and let's try and sort something out in world and do this it would be really nice if we could anyway let me tell you about the pieces that i've discussed because you need to know about them so that you can go and buy them so First of all, let's have a look here. Okay, I'm just looking through my notes that I wrote down. Yeah, I write notes down. I'm sad like that. What can I say? Okay, so the moon clock and night magic frame, which I haven't got in here. These are at the Spoonful of Sugar event. Um, there's a sky box called the Shadow Room Sky Box and a trio of frames. They're at an event called Nightmare. Um, there's a... Oh, sorry, I've got that wrong. Um, let me start again. The, the Torsion Moon Clock over here, that's that one, the really fancy one. That's from Spoonful of Sugar. The Cuckoo Clock, this glorious piece of majestic art over here. I mean, just look at the sides, it's so cute. That's from Trick or Treat Lane, along with a scrying mirror. Every witch needs a scrying mirror. Um, also, broom parking. That's this amazing thing, which I adore. The uh, hearthside cauldrons, which are these. And the witch's in sign, which is there. It's so simple, but it's so effective. These are all going to be at Season of the Witch, which I'm going to be blogging. I am so excited for that event that's coming up very very soon keep your eyes peeled on kittywitching.com where i will be featuring it heavenly during october because it's going to be amazing there's also some crystal rugs and a cauldron chair which are going to be featured at um fallen gods decennial celebration i've not got those featured on this video you will be seeing that cauldron chair though at some point on the blog because it is amazing so too long didn't read version go to candle and cauldron feast your eyes buy everything it's amazing if you like anything that you've seen in here that i've not talked about give me a tinkle on um, second life or send me an email to kitty kittywitching at gmail.com um, and I will respond in kind and let you know or just leave me a comment on the blog but yeah this is my witch room and I love it I hope you can tell that I love it because it means so much to me and um, I hope to see you sat with me having a brew in it someday because look I've got a coffee machine and everything over here it's great so anyway there you go take care speak soon bye